I know one of your goals this year was to play more like solo round uh, or solo tournaments this year. I definitely want to get at least one or two because that's competitiveness with like a mindset of keeping your mind off of it is like yeah so helpful. I gotta say that I mean that this year was my first this past season was my first year playing a solo tournament, being the club championship too. It was uh, you know I mean I I knew like I was. I, I had the right handicap to fall into that B flight, which it's not my goal was not to like really compete in it. It was more yeah. like let's see what I can shoot. Like see I know this at. course. Um I don't always play it from the black trees, but I play from the blues. Sometimes I kind of alternate. It doesn't change it too much, but just having that tournament pressure of it and like seeing what I could do. Um it was a lot of fun. I certainly struggled a lot that first day. Um but it was like it was a great learning experience, mm-hmm. um, and that I didn't I didn't make a single birdie. I had a couple doubles, you know. It was a couple balls I put out. I think I shot like an eighty seven from the tips. Um, but then I came back the next day because it was a two day tournament, yeah. and I shot an eighty two that next day, and I made three birdies. And I kind of had the motivation that day. There was a guy from the the upper flight that just same thing. He played bad the first day, and he mm-hmm. was. It was, like, uh, based off a of score. So he was back with us in, like, my grouping. And so it was, it was really different that, like, day one, it was, like, we all shot very similar scores. We're all in the B flight. Um, and it was probably, like, ranging, like, 82 to 88, I think. There was a guy, like, just below me. Um, and then day two, like I said, it was, like, there was one guy from the A flight. But then there was also this guy that, like, shot, like, 120. Oh, shit. Um, so it was, like... I kind of just set my goal right off the bat. I was in the cart with the guy from the A flight that like I knew he was like, I've seen him play before. He's like a five handicap. Yeah, like, he should yeah, be up wow. there. And I just kind of like locked in and just like, okay, I'm going to try to keep up with him. Yeah. And and I made three birdies. And I think, I mean, he so beat me straight up that day. But I, like I said, I shot an 82 that day, mm-hmm. I think. And I think he had an 80. <laughs> but I made three birdies in tournament play from the tips. It's pretty good, yeah. And it was like, Fuck okay. Yeah. I can, you and uh, I, you and I are very similar too, in the sense of um, we play to the level of it's it's rare, but we we play. It's rare that we don't. We play to the level of the people that we're playing with sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So especially like you know that uh, it kind of was back for the member guests. I mean, the qualifying round, the guys were better than us, but we didn't play well. Yeah. And then the other round, like we played exceptionally well and they weren't good. Yeah, yeah. But then that other round, I mean, we played decent, but for the most part, we always kind of play down or up to that level. So, yeah. I mean, I, and it's a mentality thing. You pick on that, like you were saying, when you play that guy from, from the, the A flight or the A championship there, like it, it's, it gives you motivation. You got something you're like, okay, I see he, he only put it to like 150. I'm going to try to put it to like 130. Yeah. Like yeah, just, yeah. you know, working on that kind of stuff. And that's, yeah, that's a, it's a game within a game. Yeah, I think part of it too, like I, ninety percent of the time when I play, I'm walking, mm-hmm. and I think it helps me keep me in like just in the groove a bit more. So yeah. like riding we is a big that. change. That was the first time I've really walked eighteen holes. Was was with you this yeah. year, dude? I loved that. I need to start doing that. I I really like it, that's especially so in the morning. Like that's the best start to a morning. Yeah. Just walking nine. Well, now that I can flex my job, I can I can yeah. flex my time. I might be going. It's an easy way to walk. I mean, when I was three and a half to four miles, depending on where you put the ball for nine mm-hmm. holes, and it, you don't even realize it, no. it flies by. Mm-hmm. But I think it keeps you in the groove so much more with the shot. Uh, but also, like day one of that, the club championship, I was one of the guys in my group was like a former winner from like five years ago, and it was like a bit intimidated. That Kevin James there, yep. remember he, he was buddies with the guys we played not in the second cop. round. Yeah, not the mall. Not cop, the mall cop, games. and not not related to me either. But everybody <laughs> yeah. kept asking us. Yeah, are you guys, are you guys. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. He's, he's my long lost uncle or something. I don't know. But it, yeah, I mean, it was. It it was a good learning experience day one, and then being able to adjust, and so that's why it's like okay, there's no reason. I think the playing the club championship was like twenty bucks, as a member. Like it's members only. You know what yeah, I mean? Right, and it's right. like, it's kind. It was kind of like why. Why not? not? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I mean, shit, the same thing with Chuck Haller. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. he's like, well, I'm just going to play this every year. Like, so I'm going to play it every year, and I've been playing it since the 1850s. I'm not going to win it because, again, like the whoever won it was like, I don't know. They, they don't even shoot under par because it's like they got the course set up really tough for it. Yeah. And the playing from the tips, you know, it's 
it's not a long course. It's just like you can't. You got to be in the right spot every single for sure. Yeah, every single hole, especially it's, courses like that. Most of them are not hitting driver, and it's almost a bit more challenging. Where you can't just rip driver on every par four, or par no. five. You got to pull irons and spots to play smart. And yeah. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.